significantly. But we can actually take a look at the breakdown by race, by gender, by age, a number of things that we can actually look at. And I'm actually going to be using the ELECT Project website just because... So it looks like the polls are saying that it looks good for the Democrats. It looks good for Warnick and Ossoff. So we'll see if that becomes true. Now, I'm looking at this list here. Representative Mark Pocan is pointing out that you, we've got 11 Republican senators who said that they're going to vote on January 6th to reject the electors from certain states. We have Ted Cruz, Ron Johnson, James Lankford, Steve Daines, John Kennedy, Marsha Blackburn, Mike Braun, Cynthia Loomis, Roger Marshall, Bill Haggerty, Tom Tuberville. Those are the 11 Republican senators who say they're going to vote on January 6th to reject the electors from certain states. Here it says two House Republicans tell C CNN that at least 140 House Republicans are going to vote against counting the Electoral College votes. So we got 11 senators who's going to be a part of the soft coup and 140 of the House reps, including the representative from the 3rd Congressional District of Colorado. So what the fuck? <laughs> and then Senator Mitch McConnell's Louisville House, was, uh, Louisville House was vandalized, so you had Nancy Pelosi with a pig's head and, you know, the $2,000 and we want everything, cancel rent, and then Senator Mitch McConnell, they spray painted on his door, where's my money? Where's my money? And then Mitch McConnell said he's always been a big thing with free speech, but this is a radical tantrum or some shit like that, so... It's a radi I don't think it's a radical tantrum. The Republicans are, are trying to steal the goddamn election. They're still fucking throwing chaos and bullshit in through. <sighs> Tomorrow is forced to vote Sunday. The next day is Julian Assange. The next day is the Georgia elections. And then the next day is January 6th when the House Republicans tried to steal the presidency. So, God, the tomorrow is the, you know, first of the four-week shit week. The four-day shit week is coming up, so tomorrow is the first day of the four-day shit week. Forced to vote. Peace.